In this tutorial, you will learn about organizing notes in Evernote using notebooks and notebook stacks. Notebook stacks are a great way to add an additional level of organization to your Evernote notebooks. They allow you to group your notebooks however you like into named containers that make sense for you. When you sync your LiveScribe Wi-Fi Smart Pen with Evernote, a notebook stack is created with the name you gave your Smart Pen during registration. To create a notebook stack, drag a notebook onto another notebook and a new notebook stack will be created for you. You can also right click on a notebook in the left pane and hover over Add to Stack. This will show you a menu of your existing stacks as well as the new stack option. Selecting new stack will create a new stack and add the selected notebook to that stack. Once you've created your stack, you can rename or delete it by right clicking it and choosing the appropriate option. Notebooks offer another way to organize by creating a collection of individual notes. Nested under the notebook stack with your smart pen name will be the active notebooks currently being used by your smart pen. To create a new notebook, either click on the file menu and choose new notebook or right click on a notebook or stack in the left panel and choose new notebook from the menu. When the create notebook dialog box appears, type a name for the notebook and select the notebook type. Evernote notebooks can be one of two types, local or synchronized. Local notebooks will only exist on the computer where they were created and are not synchronized to Evernote web or across multiple platforms. Notes stored in synchronized notebooks will be synchronized to Evernote web and to the rest of your Evernote enabled computers and devices. The Mac and PC desktop clients and Evernote web allow the creation of new notebooks. Currently, Evernote mobile applications do not support creating notebooks or modifying notebook properties. Evernote allows up to 250 notebooks and notebook stacks within your account. This concludes the tutorial on creating notebooks and notebook stacks.